What's up, guys? Dick Opinion here. It's time to talk about Walking Dead, Season 8, Episode 11. Da -da -da. Spoilers, of course. If you haven't seen this, you might want to watch it before you see this, but if you're about to go watch it, like the video first. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, let's get into it. It's basically like a Negan and Eugene episode, clearly. So, um, yeah, man. So they're treating Eugene, Mr. Haircut, nicely and Fucking easy street song again. How much royalty are they going to pay for that one song? So, um, and also I knew Dwight was going to pay for that missing Daryl thing, but I thought he would have to pay more. But I will say Dwight's playing it kind of smart, what he's doing with this whole, like, you know, faking this, like, toughness thing. Like, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to turn good or not. Like, I wrote that I don't really want him to turn good. I kind of want him to die. But, um, I don't think it's going to happen. I, I think that, like, a little bit later on, which we'll talk about in a second when we get to one of my favorite scenes, it kind of changed my opinion a little bit. But we'll get to that in a second. Um, so, haircut, Mr. Eugene, being fake smart. You know, at this point, I think he is pretty smart. I mean, I know he just fakes it. He's going back to what he originated, his little lies, and... I mean, that's cool. He has a lot of nicknames now. Dr. Smarty Pants, haircut, Eugene. <laughs> but um, one of my favorite parts about this was the story with Dwight and his wife and him like bringing the pretzels and the beer after that note and getting the rings. I thought that was really cool. And um, I really think she broke him. And I think it's time for him to go to Rick. Like, I don't know what's he really doing. He's trying to cover his ass with Negan. But I think it's time for him to go to Rick and be like, this has to stop. We all want to kill Negan. Help us, or something like that. I don't know. Um, and so the thing about Eugene making the Juliet pills, the poison, and him being really smart about, you know, being like, nah, bitches, you're trying to kill Negan. It's, it's cool and all, but what is he going to do with the pills? You know? It's kind of weird because he's snapping now. You could see it when he went to get the medicine. They're like, wait in line. He just kind of snapped with that music. So... I don't know if he's becoming amazing or if he's becoming stupid. I don't know if it's going to be him playing it smart or him. I don't know. Because maybe he's really just getting used to this. He is being treated really well, getting whatever he wants. I don't know. He's really, he's becoming Negan's sidekick now more than Dwight. And I think at the end there, you can kind of tell Dwight's not liking this, you know? Um, it, it's kind of crazy because Dwight lied about killing his wife. He's playing it really cold. He got the doctor guy killed, which I think the doctor guy was a bitch. The doctor guy shouldn't have been such a bitch. He just stayed to his roots and be like, no, that was not me that did that shit. Dwight's lying, whether he burned his face or not. Because then you just threw him in the pit. Once you admitted to it and you lied about doing it just to try to save your face, it's bullshit. He's probably going to kill you anyway. Might as well go out, you know, not being a bitch. So I thought that, that piece was kind of brutal. It was kind of insane. But... It's really showing a side of Negan that we need to see. That Negan can be tricked really easy. That Negan is really kind of dumb. And he can be lied to and tricked and manipulated to just believing a doctor wanted to let, you know, Daryl out. What was the point behind that? Why does a doctor care that Daryl gets out? Even if it upset, you know, Dwight's ex-wife. Even if it upset her. Why the hell would a doctor care? Why would you kill literally your only doctor? And you go, oh, Eugene can help. No, Eugene's not a doctor, dude. I don't know who he was talking about, but he killed his only doctor, and that was stupid. He got killed over a lie. I thought that part was really, really dumb. Um, so yeah, Eugene did do the, the, the death pills. That was cool. Eugene's becoming something more than Negan, though. You know, before Negan can even finish the sentence, he's like, Negan, I am Negan. But Eugene's always been a bitch. You know, he's trying to toughen up now. Maybe this is what he needs. Maybe this will, you know, I don't know if it's going to be a good or bad thing, though. You know, I don't really think he's going to stay with the Saviors for that long, but we'll see what happens, to be honest. I think Dwight's a little jealous that Eugene's becoming the sidekick and Dwight's not. But I think, you know, I think everyone's sick of Negan's shit. Everyone's trying to kill him. You know what I mean? I'm surprised that he doesn't, like, always get attacks and he always has to take someone out because he's always, you know, treating people like shit and people aren't going to put up with that. You know, I'd try to kill him too if I was in that situation. I'd die either way, so might as well. So let's talk about next week's preview. It's going to be uh, Rick and Michonne hunting for guns in a theme park carnival. What is this? What is this freak show? <laughs> I don't mind it. It looks interesting. I, it shows where they're going to get the guns for that new um, new group they saw last week. So it's building up to that. It's probably going to be another slow episode. I consider this episode slow. So it's going to be another slow episode, I'm sure. But that's Walking Dead. I'm used to it now. I kind of just sit back and try to enjoy it, not only really think about that, but 
the only other thing I saw is Rosina. Rosina's going to bitch again, huh? And not do anything about it. She's going to sit there and pout. She still is cute and she pouts, but she's going to sit there and just pout the whole time, huh? <laughs> Overall, though, like I said, it's kind of a slow episode. Just, you know, showing Negan again, which I thought was cool. Showing Eugene getting treated like a king. And, um, I don't know. I was really surprised they did that. I thought there would be a little more torture for Eugene. But there wasn't. He gave him a damn good introduction, and uh, we'll see how that turns out. And I'm excited to see it. The one thing I just wish I could just binge watch the rest of the season without having to like wait every week, but then I'd get bored and watch it all in a week and then have to wait a whole year like I do of Orange is the New Black to see the next stuff. So I don't know. It was interesting enough. I'm excited to see what's going to happen next week, but I'll probably forget about it. Nintendo Switch comes out next week, and we're going to cover that, play the hell out of it. So I might forget Walking Dead comes on. <laughs> But we'll see what uh, Rick and Mashona do. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this episode. Do you think um, Dwight seriously become cracked? Do you think he has a plan? Do you think that uh, Mr. Haircut Man, do you think Mr. Mullet is actually taken to this and really becoming what he shows? And do you think Negan's tricked easy? What are you guys going to think happen next? Let me know in the comments below. Like the video. Give me your opinion on The Walking Dead. And I'll talk to you later. Peace. Hey guys, Duck here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys could support the channel by liking and subscribing and even leaving a comment below, it'd really mean a lot to me. And if you guys want to go the extra mile, we have a Patreon page. You can check it out in the link in the description below. And we have different goals that you guys can donate to and it would really help keep this channel afloat. Thank you guys so much for listening. Ducks can fly, so please help us survive. Peace.